Good afternoon, colleagues. This, this morning we awoke to the tragic news that a terrorist incident in Manchester had taken the lives of many people and injured dozens more. The Parliament will shortly have the opportunity to express its sadness and to show its solidarity with the people of Manchester. Just before that, I am very grateful to the Reverend Graham Clark, the Minister of Central Baptist Church in Paisley, for reflecting on these tragic events in his time for reflection today. Thank you. Reverend Clark. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, it is with heavy hearts that we gather here today following the multiple deaths in Manchester. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19 and verse 41 reads, and when Jesus drew near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, would that even today you knew the things that make for peace. Tears might be more appropriate than words today. Together in a moment, we'll observe just a brief time of silence. The proper time of silence will come later in remembrance of all those who've been killed and injured. But just before we do so, I want to read these words from Jonathan Sachs. Too often in the history of religion, people have killed in the name of the God of life, waged war in the name of the God of peace, hated in the name of the God of love, and practice cruelty in the name of the God of compassion. When this happens, God speaks, sometimes in a still small voice, almost inaudible beneath the clamor of those claiming to speak on his behalf. What he says at such a time is not in my name. Would that even today you knew the things that make for peace. Together, we remember in silence. Lord God, encircle in your comfort today all who are torn apart by grief. Encircle in your healing today all who are hurting and injured. Encircle in your peace today all who are overcome by fear. Encircle in your courage and strength today all those in the emergency services and health services. On a day like this, we remember that the challenges we face together are greater perhaps than we have yet seen or articulated. May God give all of you wisdom and strength. Amen. <laughs> 